Hey, I'm James Mulvaney. I'm founder of podcast.co, as you might know, and I've helped thousands of people, businesses, entrepreneurs, startups, and organizations get their podcasts up and running and off the ground. And some of them are incredibly successful. Now, podcast.co is a platform that makes it super simple to get your podcast off the ground. If you've not checked it out, it's great to launch, distribute, and grow your podcast. And we offer a variety of tools and a fantastic way to start a podcast. So today, I'd like to introduce you to our new private podcast feature. I wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough to show you how it differs to a normal podcast. Now, firstly, what is a private podcast? Well, it's just like a normal podcast, but you can restrict who has access to it and who doesn't have access to it. Now, this is perfect for a variety of use cases. The couple main ones being uh, either private content that you want to share internally. Perhaps you run a large organization and you want, like the idea of using podcasting your internal comms. Well, this will allow you to lock out the general public and only allow access to staff members so they will have their own accounts and you can add and remove users really easily. The other use case is perhaps you want to create a separate podcast for paid users, e.g. Patron or PayPal people who have subscribed to uh, access premium content and you want to keep everyone else out, well, private podcasts are perfect for that as well. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it all works. It's really straightforward to set up and use using podcast.co. Okay, so let's cut to my podcast.co dashboard and I'll show you exactly how to create a private podcast. Now, as you can see here, I've got multiple podcasts attached to this account. This is the great thing about podcast.co. If you run a network or you perhaps have multiple podcasts or you run an agency, you can actually have different networks works and with multiple podcasts contained within each network so really really super configurable and you can invite different people to access different podcasts in terms of your admin as well as users which I'm going to be showing you now so let's create a private podcast because all of the ones I have in front of me are public I can either import my podcast from another provider which will suck in all of the RSS feed including your episodes their descriptions images etc or I can create a new one which I'm going to do for the purposes of this demonstration so we'll call this one private 101 and we'll give it a category which might be art design whatever and uh, you know fancy description goes here something like that whatever you probably all want to make a better description than that and finally this is the magic button which you need to pay attention to uh, which says make this private uh, podcast private now once you create the podcast you can't then edit whether it's private or not so if you're creating a new podcast you need to make sure that you click this button otherwise you'll have to go delete and start again we'll click next We'll give it a uh, URL in this case. It's private-101, sounds pretty cool. And finally, I'll upload an image, which is basically a fancy artwork for my podcast. As you can see, this guy here looks a little bit suspicious, doesn't he? But let's create this and we'll then be good to go. And what I wanna do now is show you how you can actually start inviting users to your podcast. So if I hit down here, you'll see there's a tab which says subscribers, which you won't have if you have a normal podcast on podcast.co. By default, I can see manage subscribers and you can see here, I've got no one subscribed yet. So we need to actually start adding some people. The first thing I'm going to do is add by an email address. But I quickly want to mention also that you can whitelist an email domain. Now, this simply means perhaps you're running a corporation or a business. You have at yourcompany.com and you just basically want to give anyone access to the podcast who has an email address with your company. Well, it's very simple. If you wanted to say give everyone at podcast.co uh, access to this, I just enter in podcast.co and whitelist. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to just invite one user. Now, you can either invite a single user at a time or you can add a comma separated list of email addresses perhaps you've exported this from a service like patron or perhaps your IT department has provided a list of all uh, staff members that they want to have access to this and it will actually fire out email invitations one at a time to every single email address you enter so once you've done that the user who you invite will get an email like you see on your screen right now and if they click the link contained within the email the email will contain a link to a page which is completely unique to that user which looks like this. So they can actually add this directly to their Apple Podcast app or that they can copy the RSS feed URL, which again is completely unique to every single user to the clipboard. If I then head back to manage subscribers and I want to say revoke someone's access to that podcast, I hit the remove button and I can actually disable access for the user. So if I refresh this page now, you'll see that the user no longer has access to the podcast. 
Next up, I want to quickly take you through adding users via a whitelisted domain. This is perfect if you're a larger organization and you want to whitelist everyone who's attached to a specific domain that can either be a top level domain or a subdomain. So for example, if I enter podcast.co as my whitelisted email domain, I can also have multiple domains attached to my whitelist. So I might have a department name dot mydomain.com or whatever it might be. So let's add department.podcast.co for an example here as well. And and again, I can easily revoke access to whitelist domains if I want to. Now, this is where the landing page comes in. If I copy this link here, this is a page where users can specifically request access to my podcast. So if I enter you know, an incorrect domain name and press request access, I'll get an error saying only authorized email addresses have access to this podcast. However, if I request access through my actual email address, I'll be then sent an invitation to access the feed because I'm on an authenticated domain. So this is a great way uh, to add lots of users uh, via maybe an email newsletter or something like that. So you don't have to go and import everyone's email address directly. And again, removing subscribers is exactly the same I just hit that remove button and it will take that user from my private podcast so that in a nutshell is how private podcasts work on the podcast.co platform if you have any questions we'd be delighted to answer them or if you'd like a guided tour of the platform please reach out to us on hello at podcast.co or you can go and sign up for the platform and start using it straight away just head to podcast.co all right hope you've enjoyed this little video take it easy and just go and create some podcasts <laughs>